All right. Tree. That's me, brother, parents, grandparents. Weird. Oh. Too damn fatal crash. Fatal accident that occurred last weekend is currently being investigated. Reports say that an elderly couple, along with their infant grandson, which is probably me, were driving along an interstate highway. When the driver lost control, the vehicle swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The driver, a retired elderly young by the name of Frank Young, was killed in the accident along with his infant grandson, Kevin Young. That's me. The only survivor of the crash, Margaret Young, is in stable condition. Rumors suggest that alcohol might have been involved in the incident, but there is insufficient evidence to properly conclude the suspicion of police.
brother and grandfather. Was it me in the article? new to God's basement. Trust the operator. He will guide you. D 
your mother. Sorry I haven't been answering your calls. I know it wasn't your fault, but losing Kevin and Dad has taken a toll on all of us. I think Sarah and I just need some time to grieve and accept what happened. Take care of your son and your young. So that is me. I have not been answering my calls. Calls. How do you use this torch? I see you found a flashlight. Past this door, things can get quite dangerous. Your memories from your past life are still probably blurry, but they'll start coming back shortly. For the time being, make your way down through the hallway. I highly advise you not to spend too much time looking around. If anything makes an attempt to get your attention, ignore it to the best of your ability. If you see anything or anyone approach you, do whatever is necessary to avoid contact with that entity. Most importantly, do not, I repeat, do not acknowledge their existence. If you follow these guidelines, you should be just fine. Give me a minute or two to unlock the door. Once the screen shows that it is unlocked, you may proceed. I'll see you again soon. Good luck. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh my god, hurry up. Music stopped. Oh, okay. That's what that button does. This is dead end. Oh, these lights went off before. So this is the way I have to go. Say God did not forgive me. Who's saying that? All right then. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing.
I just being stupid? Zoom in on the notes. Taking the piss. What? What? Open that door. Oh my god. Oh my no, I don't actually want to go in there. resulted in the death of a grandfather and an infant child. Authorities reported that the car swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. Mm -hmm. The only survivor was the grandmother of the infant child. Oh, is this my grandmother? Although she suffered major injuries, she yeah, is currently in stable me. condition. Authorities also reported that the grandfather was driving the vehicle and that alcohol might have been involved in the incident. Said any of my letters or my calls, I wait in eternity to hear the sound of their voices. Hmm. Just because I didn't answer. Of course. No, not 
wants to do a call, so she's just going to keep ringing, is she? Sound of your voice. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Oh. Oh, do I need to call her or something? Is she just going to keep calling me? Still locked. I swear to God. Is she ringing again? few jump scares so far, nothing major. But I am now back in an office. I'm glad you made it through in one piece. Whatever you saw might have jogged your memory a bit, even though all of it occurred before you were born. Your parents, Neil and Sarah Young, had a son named Kevin. Mm -hmm. Your grandparents were looking Kevin after him. Brother when an unfortunate incident occurred. After losing their only son, your parents decided it would be best to create some distance between your grandmother. Although she tried her best um. to seek their forgiveness, the grief they felt was too painful. For a long time, they stayed out of contact with your grandmother. After a few years, they had you, James Young, they still were quite distant with your grandmother, possibly afraid the same incident might happen again. I don't want to bore you too much with those details. No, I get it there is something I require from you. For you to unlock more of your memories, you need to go deeper into God's basement. To do that, you need to retrieve a security card to get past the door to your right. Fortunately, there is one down the hallway Easy. to your left. Could go wrong. Just follow it all the way down, past the area with the red lights, and it should be in a storage room filled with shelves. Once you retrieve it, bring it back and slide it across the panel next to the door. I know you still have your suspicions, but I swear all your questions will be answered. Once you have a complete understanding of your past life, I'll tell you what God's basement really is, but you have quite some ways to go. Keep doing exactly as I say. And one last thing. Good luck. So that letter, was, letter wasn't me writing to my mum, it was my parents writing to that grandmother to say give us time to grieve. I didn't realise I hadn't been born yet. Right, let's go get the security card. card. the area with the red lights which is this way and it should be on a shelf, shelf. 
the socks locked. Last night I had a dream. I was walking towards my son and his family. They looked so happy together and I yearned to be a part of it. As I kept walking, they kept shrinking, becoming more and more distant. Even as I increased my pace, the space between kept exponentially increasing until they disappeared. I haven't seen them since the accident. My son writes to me every now and then, but will never answer any of my calls. I haven't heard his voice in years. They recently had another child, and it all be boy, that's me. I desperately wish to see him. My son wrote to me saying that he couldn't wait for us to meet. I pray that he keeps his word, Margaret Young. So that is an entry in the grandmother's journal. I need to get in there, don't I?
files. This is the first place I came. Mother, how have you been? It's been pretty hectic over here, balancing family and work. James is about half a year old now, that's me, and he's growing healthily. I have some bad news. I might have to relocate to another state because of my job in the next few months. I don't know for sure yet, but there's a high probability of the relocation. I know I promised to let you see your grandson, but I really and I really intended to let you see him. But it's difficult to find the time. I'll keep you updated on everything. Your son, Neil Young. Oh, she's getting pied. My own son. Who doesn't trust her? Oh, that's where she was. 
safety.